Here's a video about how to make a scatter plot and regression on TI Inspire. First hit the home key and then go to number one, new document. If you want to save unsaved document, say no, don't save changes. To enter a scatter plot, you need to enter your data. So go to list and spreadsheet. Always title your column something. Um, I typically will use like XC for X coordinate and YC for Y coordinate or something like that um, if I don't have specific names. Um, I typically want to use more than one letter there. I, I don't like to call it X or Y. Um, it can be confusing at times when you do that. So I'm going to put in some data here. 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35. And uh, 70, 76, 84, 91, and 100. Make sure that you uh, don't, some students will type the last one and never press enter, and their cell looks like that. Either press enter or tab uh, to get out of the cell there. So I've got my data typed in there. Now I'm going to hit the, uh, well, if you're cool, hit control I to insert a new page. And then go to data and statistics. Your screen will look a little different. It's got the random data right there. But if you click down here at the bottom of the screen, it says click to add variables. Click there and choose XC. And then either move your cursor over to the left and click, or as a shortcut, you could press the tab key. If you press the tab key numerous times, it will um, jump to that Y axis and choose your Y variable. If you want to show off to your friends, uh, place your cursor over one of the um, points that's plotted and do a right click, which on the calculator is control menu, and uh, choose uh, color. And you can make your scatter plot whatever color you want. So uh, I've got a scatter plot. You don't have to change the color, by the way. Um, to do the regression, it's pretty easy. Hit the menu key, go to analyze regression, then you get to choose. In science class, you may want to do show linear A plus BX. I think math class, we always typically want this if we want to do a linear regression. And it shows you the equation of the linear regression as long as you click on the line. So if you click on the line, it click off the line, it doesn't show it to me. If you click on it, it shows the regression equation there. And so the, and it, you can see it's a pretty good fit. There's a couple things you can do to check how good a fit it is. Um, I don't want to get too much into statistics, but one thing you could do, if you insert a calculator page, control I, if you're cool, calculator, and then hit the variable key right here and go to uh, the correlation coefficient here, R squared. You press enter. You can see this 0 0.995. That's very close to 1. If this number is very close to 1 or negative 1, um, it could mean that this is a good fit for your for your data, that the linear regression is the correct uh, regression. But you're going to see some data does not work very well with that type of uh, regression. And so I'm going to show you one uh, where that's true. This data is some I typed in here. Um, here's the data I typed in for bounce and height. I, I graphed it. And if I go to menu, analyze, regression, and whoops, I didn't mean to do that a little fast. Um, sorry, menu, analyze, regression, and I'm going to choose linear. I'm not sure that's the best fit for this data. It doesn't seem to model it as nice as the other one does. I'm curious as to what my um, hit control I because I'm cool and uh, calculator. I'm hit variable and check what my R squared value is. It's not too bad, but it's not as good as I had before. It certainly wasn't like 0.997. So I'm going to uh, click on this and hit the delete key and get rid of that. I'm going to redo regression. Menu, analyze, regression. And I'm going to try uh, exponential. And so it gives me an equation there. It seems to go right through that data pretty well. Uh, it seems to be a good fit. If I hit the variable key and do R squared, now it's 0 0.998. I'd say that's a very good fit. Uh, one more thing you could consider doing to see if it's a good fit or not. If you do uh, menu, let's see, analyze residuals, you can show a residual plot and um, it kind of shows you uh, what the residuals look like in this particular graph. There's a pattern to this. 
then you may or may you may not have the best fit. But it's um, you can always try other fits there. It uh, kind of depends on the data you've been given and see what's the best fit for your data. I hope you enjoyed your screencast, how to make a scatter plot and do a regression. Join Mr. Volpe's class.